prop the camera, but I don't think... No, it's not going to work. Obviously, I am in Copenhagen, as you would have seen by the title of this vlog. And I've just come out of the shower, but I thought I would just quickly say hi. And when I've got ready, I will come back and have a wee chit chat. I did a workout in the hotel gym this morning. I picked up a coffee on the way back home. It was so hot that I couldn't drink it. So now it's perfect. I'm going to get ready quickly and I'll see you in a minute. Hair's brushed, skincare's done, coffee's almost finished. Okay, I'm ready, but I do not have time to vlog. I will chat later. But this is my outfit. So I finally have a little break in my diary just to vlog. So I wanted to recap the past couple of days. I have filmed loads of little bits, but they were all quite random. So I'm going to talk you through it. I'm just sitting here having, what are they called? Like a Barocca, but it's not Barocca. Just to get some like vitamins into my body. Anyway, so obviously I flew in on Monday morning. And on the first day, we just had quite a few appointments around the city. We went to the Bland showroom for a fitting ahead of the show. And then I also went to Load Creatives just to pick up my look for dinner, which was that evening. And the evening, the dinner was with Tomorrow Denim, which is actually a new brand for me. I was very happy to discover them. They have a very interesting backstory. I'm going to put their handle here so you can check them out. And I actually hired a bike and I cycled to the dinner and then I cycled home. I had good intention to hire a bike for the whole week here, but that was the only time I actually used it. And instead I've literally been taking taxis everywhere, I've spent a fortune. Then we move on to Tuesday morning, which was the first official day of Fashion Week. I did a little takeover on the Harper's Bazaar Instagram page, which was really nice. So that kind of like kicked off my morning and then we head straight to the first show, which was Blanche. I was wearing a few bits that I got from the fitting, but I had this big coat on, on top, so you don't really see them. The show was really beautiful. Some amazing pieces, especially the knitwear and the berries. Hilda was also vlogging, so we got a little clip together. Then it was time to head to the presentation of by Milena Berger. Um, it was shown in their head office, which was just the most beautiful space. And we just had a mooch around. Next up, we actually took the metro and we went back to the hotel. I got ready for the Raven Saliner show. This is my look. So the show is Raven Saliner and I'm wearing the jacket from them. I've paired it with the Loewe puzzle bag because the colour match is really good. And then I have on these cargos which are from the Frankie shop with this belt from Kos and these loafers. And I'm running late. I was sitting next to my friend Selma and loved all the pieces. After that, shock horror, I actually managed to get a space in a Barry's boot camp class. So I went to, I think it was like a 6 p.m. class. Don't know how I managed to have time for that, but I did it and I felt amazing after it. Then I had a dinner after that with my agency at Delphine. Here are my shoes. I was wearing a new pair from Filling Pieces. The Delphine is such a beautiful restaurant, by the way. Definitely put it on your Copenhagen restaurant list if you have one we jumped in a taxi and actually there was a party going on that night but we skipped it and just went back to the hotel to go to bed first shot of the day was love child i wore this black suit with uh, a blue shirt and a prada tie and a little skirt over this over the suit and here are some clips from the show <laughs> had a sax player and also live a live singer which was really beautiful I, I, I hung out with the dutch girls for a little bit and then elba and i got a coffee before heading back to the hotel because i had to change again my room was just getting such a crazy mess but you know life i'm wearing this yellow two-piece from joseph and my new bag put some moisturizer on my legs after that we head to Opera Sport and it was actually all of us going there which was really nice. We stood around outside for a little bit, a shot with Romy Lux, I'm going to put her handle here. Then we head inside and this was a few clips from the show. Uh, after 
after that we head back to the hotel again for another look. I wore this Marnie shirt which I borrowed from the outnet along with a blazer and some MM6 jeans and my tabbies. What are you wearing? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. It's not that kind of, it's not that kind of vlog. So this show, this look was for the show Selam Fisahe. I'm probably butchering that name, I'm so sorry. But the show was beautiful. I was blown away. I feel like every look was perfection. I would wear a lot from this collection. The venue was also super cool. It's a huge big warehouse and the show space, that's it at the back in the yellow. I also shot a little bit with Jan. I'm gonna put his hand over here. Here you see me in the rain and yeah, just doing my thing. I head back to the hotel and I changed it to my look from Bomb and Fair Garden. Navy blue floral jacket with a skirt. And then I also paired it with my Prada headband. So we arrived quite late for this show and it was super, super busy. So it was a bit chaotic getting to our seats. But when we sat down, everything was fine. And here's a few clips from the show. After that was a bit of a mad rush because we had another show directly after, which was Sax Pots. So it was in Tivoli Gardens or Tivoli Opera, the Opera Hall. And we had this live performance from, um, what's it called, like a pipe band, which was really cool, a really nice start. And then the show started. It was such like a cool environment to have the show, like you're all sitting watching as though it's like a cinema, so it's like a proper show. And just here's a few clips. Then, of course, everybody was heading to Stenagoya, so we had a bit of troubles with the taxi, but we managed to get there. I actually changed outfit in the car because I had a look to wear for that show. Um, here's a few clips from Stenagoya. Here's Najee doing his thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put his handle here. And this is what I wore to the Sina Goya show. I didn't get any landscape clips but I'm gonna put a picture in here so you can yeah see the full floral set. After that we popped into the New Balance party but we had a dinner reservation which um, we really wanted to make so we weren't really there for that long. But it was really cool. We had a cocktail also. I did dry January so that was my first drink of the year. At dinner, I don't think I took any pictures at dinner. We went to Barley and we had like sharing bits which was super nice. Then we head back to the hotel, had a little drink there and I think I went to bed at like 2am. That brings us to today. So this morning Fran and I head to the Zalando space again and we saw the show by TG Botanical. There were so many beautiful pieces of knitwear. I'll put a few clips in. I saw Selma again and we jumped in a taxi, grabbed a coffee, which I have just finished and I got a pastry as well. I'm going to show you it. Pistachio swirl, I guess. So now we're up to date and I'm going to try and vlog the rest of the day because today is Ghani day. So that's gonna be really fun. But before I go, I thought it would be nice to show you two things. First thing is my sunglasses that I packed. And the second thing is the bags that I packed. So the first pair of sunglasses is from Iola. The cool orange pair, haven't worn them yet. Second pair are from Marnie. Third pair are from Jimmy Fairley. Third pair are from Le Specs. Fourth pair are Dior. And lastly, my newest pair from Saint Laurent and the pair that I have worn every single day. <laughs> I haven't worn a single other pair of the sunglasses. I just keep grabbing these. That's that and now let's show you the bags. So I brought six bags with me. And I think it's actually my six favourite bags. Well, this one, I've actually only used it a couple times. It's this really micro bag from Sakai. It's just like a cute accessory every now and again. Second one is my new Loewe puzzle bag in the pale aubergine glaze. And I really love it with the donut chain. So the third one that I use all the time is the JW Anderson Pierce bag in red. Then I have my classic flap Chanel bag in mint green. My newest bag 
the Jodie in porridge and the size is teen. And lastly, I have this little off-white shoulder bag. So yeah, I'm gonna go and shoot. I have to shoot one campaign while I'm here in Copenhagen. So I'm gonna do that now with the help of Rebecca and Fran. So I will try to shoot a few clips. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Excuse me. I feel like I need to go put sunglasses on. This is too bright. better help so obviously i'm back in amsterdam now the sun is shining it's been such amazing weather since i've got back but i edited the first half of the video and i realized i didn't actually end like this part so i'm going to talk you through the last day so where did we finish off i think it was in my room oh yeah because i showed you my bags and sunglasses right so hang on Sorry, Scott's in the shower and it was very noisy. I don't know if you can hear it in the background and now somebody's drilling out the front, so this is just great. Anyway, I've made myself a massive protein shake. It's more like a smoothie, to be honest. With coffee in. So the next thing we did, Rebecca, Fran and I jumped in a taxi and we head back to the Zalando space because they were announcing the winner of the Sustainability Award. And the winner is... Stop. We actually missed the Stam show, which I was really gutted about, but I'm going to put the brand's handle in here and you can check them out. After that, I jumped on the Fashion Week bus with Pim. It's the first time actually getting on this bus. It basically runs from show to show, so if you're going to shows back to back, you can just jump on this bus and it's free, which is really nice. So I did that and I went to the Hallsweiler show. The collection might have been my favourite out of them all. There were so many amazing looks and I would love to wear like all of them. I'm sure Scott would as well. And Philippa Kay had a little event going on in their store so we head there to check out that. I had a little veggie hot dog and admired the beautiful VM. Then we head back to the hotel and it was another quick turnaround because it was time for the Rotate show. The show was super fun, it's always a big party there. Lisa Rena also walked the show. I, to be honest, I didn't even know who she was, but I've since realized that she's a big deal. I just don't really watch TV, so I was like, who is this? Why is everybody going mental? This is what I wore to the Rotate show. I'm gonna put a picture up here because I didn't get any videos. Then it was time, I had to skip the next show, which actually looked really cool. I was quite gutted to miss it, but it was time to head to the Ghani show. They'd arranged transport because the show location was like 45 minute drive out of the city. So I got on, I'd booked a spot on the Ghani bus and it was waiting outside of the Rotate venue to pick everybody up. So I went on that, had a little beer on the bus and then head into the space. It was held at a place called Arkin. Because it was dark, you couldn't really see, but I heard it's a beautiful venue. I had my photo taken at the little photo call. I haven't seen this photo yet. Maybe it wasn't good enough. <laughs> then I found my seat and it was on the front row, which I was quite shocked about. The show was amazing and here's a few clips from it. There was so many amazing denim pieces and also it felt like, I don't know, it was almost like a more elevated version of Ghani, like less colour but it was still super playful. And after the show finished, these massive cannons went off of like this yellow confetti and it was literally everywhere. It was all over my hat, my bag, everything. Then I jumped back onto the bus to the city and... The rest of the group that I was there with were sitting in the bar at the hotel and they were having margaritas so I joined them for a drink and then we went to bed. I think again it was like 1am so not too bad. There was quite a few parties on but none of us were feeling the party vibe so we had the drinks and then just went to bed. The next day we just had like a mooch around the city. We just did some shopping and Fran and I did another Barry's boot camp class. And what else did we do? We had some brunch and then Fran and I had dinner at a place called Kof Kofoko. I'll put the handle on here. And then basically it was time to go to bed and the next morning we were already leaving. We had quite a 
quick brunch at Studio X Kitchen, Studio Kitchen X and it was delicious, like I couldn't believe I'd never been there before. It's definitely going on my Copenhagen guide that I do on Instagram. Yeah, then we head home and now I'm here. So hope you enjoyed the fashion week vlog. Please let me know if you have any questions and as always, please like and subscribe. Yeah.